preseason went well. It, everyone was excited to be together. Um, you know, very different vibe than last year when we were not allowed to do any football activities until I think mid-September. So got, guys were just appreciative of being able to, you know, be on the field with each other and get to know each other. Um, we have 33 freshmen uh, that joined us this year. And, you know, I have 40 sophomores, you know, that were with us last year, but, you know, have not played in a, you know, in a, in a college football game yet. So really critical that we took advantage and used the time that we had, um, you know, efficiently and wisely. Um, we had a scrimmage early on, uh, which we hadn't done in the past, usually just went to inter-squad scrimmage, but we were able to scrimmage Kenyon College, which was, was very helpful um, for the players to get on-field experience against another team and for the coaches to see them, you know, in, in competition against another team. So that was very helpful. Um, and I think we're, we're where we should be at this point, and, and we certainly need to keep improving, but we're happy with, with where we're at right now. It's a mindset of just wanting to play. I mean, with everything that's happened uh, in the past year and a half, um, I think it's just time for us to get back out there. Um, I know the PAC played a spring schedule um, that we unfortunately were not allowed to play in, but uh, we're still the champions of the PAC, judging by the last fall season. So that's our mentality. Um, we know we have a target on our back, and yet we're still we're still ranked third among the coaches. So uh, that puts a little bit of a chip in our shoulder, even though. We're, uh, we're a pretty young team. Um, we didn't have a lot, a lot of guys coming back from that playoff team in 2019, but uh, we're still ready to go. We trust our coaches and uh, how they're going to prepare us. So, yeah, we're, we're just ready to get back out there and finally be able to hit someone in a different color jersey. Both teams uh, have not played since 2019. So there's going to be a big turnover in personnel. Uh, I just went through their roster last year looking at guys on film that played against us and they have many people that are not there anymore as as do we. So they're really two very different teams. Um, I'm certainly thankful offensively that we have three seniors on the offensive line, uh, a very experienced quarterback, um, an All-American receiver that, that came back in Colt Morgan. So uh, there's some real knowns there for us and the unknowns are our defense. Um, not too many guys who have played in a college football game, but we're very excited about, you know, what they've showed in camp and we feel we can be good, but there's, there's no substitute for experience. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know what to expect. Um, you know, I, I think both teams have veteran staffs that have been together. Um, so I, I think we're banking on some things since their coordinators are the same since we played them last, but again, long time they could they could be very different than we expected.